The Full House spinoff had a truly delightful five-season run on Netflix. So much so that we're already missing our favorite San Francisco residents. On that nostalgic note, get ready to see what your favorite actors have been up to. Let's hear why being the Christmas Queen stressed Candace Cameron Bure out. And how Jodie Sweetin is teaching other moms to kill the parenting game, not their kids. You can be mad, but you don't get to be mean. You'll also see how the actors are coping with the untimely passing of their beloved friend and mentor, Bob Saget. Candace Cameron Bure as D. DJ Tanner Fuller. Since Fuller House wrapped up, 45-year-old Cameron Bure has not been resting on her laurels. Impressive, considering the quarantine and all that. Not only did she launch her new clothing line last year, but she's also been spreading her faith with an online collection. In terms of acting, well, the actress definitely hasn't been dubbed the Christmas Queen for nothing. Cameron Bure has starred in 10 Hallmark Christmas movies over the years, and many of those she did while Fuller House was still running. I love being associated with Christmas. It's my favorite holiday of the year. But there's a catch. Even even though Candace loves all her Hallmark festive projects, the pressure to perform is hectic. Two years ago, she got sick to her stomach in anticipation of her film, If I Only Had Christmas, due to her own fears that her movies would eventually falter in the ratings. It's a relief to hear that she finally decided to just enjoy the process and stop stressing while promoting another Hallmark film, The Christmas Contest. Much like her character DJ, Candace is not only a career woman, but a matriarch as well. Yeah, she's got three children in real life one daughter and two sons. That means she's also been celebrating important family milestones like birthdays, anniversaries, and more. As for how she runs her own household, Number one rule in my house, excuses are for losers. We don't make one. excuses. Next up, let's see the similarities between Cameron Bure and a special co-star who's become like a sister in real life too. Jodie Sweetin as Stephanie Tanner. Like Candace, Jody grew up on the small screen in the ABC original Full House. In real life, 40-year-old Sweeten has two daughters of her own. The actress shared that her kids are her biggest fans. She'll never forget how, during the first season of Fuller House, her one daughter had a small part during one episode. Andrea Barber's daughter also made an appearance, and Jody had this to say about the future. That was really fun and very full circle for us, to have our daughters be on the show that we were on when we were their age. As for Sweeten's career since Fuller House ended, she's drawn inspiration from from motherhood for one of her gigs. On their hilarious podcast, Never Thought I'd Say This, Jody and her best friend, life coach Celia Bahar, tackle parenting taboos by sharing their own war stories. Like her co-star Candace, Jody worked on other projects while filming Fuller House. Did you know she finished in sixth place on Dancing with the Stars in 2016? She's also been part of the Hallmark family with roles in films like Love Under the Rainbow and Merry and Bright. As for the future, Jody hasn't announced her next project yet, but she said she loves to move into more dramatic work next. Now, let's uncover what another celebrity mom has been up to. Andrea Barber as Kimmy Gibbler. Back in 1995, when Full House ended, Barber took time off to focus on her son and daughter during the pivotal years of their lives. Andrea came out of acting retirement to reprise her role as Kimmy in Fuller House. Now that the series is over, we're not sure whether she'll keep acting. To be fair, the past few years haven't been normal, and Andrea also faced a sad personal loss. Her mother passed away this year after a battle with pulmonary fibrosis. The 45-year-old actress shared an emotional message on her Instagram account. She was my greatest comfort in life. From the time I was a little girl, to when I was an overwhelmed new mom with a colicky newborn, to the times when I sank into my deepest depressions. Proving that they all became like family in real life, Barbara's cast members rallied around her during this trying time. So much love, my dearest friend. Candace wrote, Your mom was awesome, and her laugh was even better. She will be missed, but never forgotten. My heart hurts for you and your family, Andrea, Bob Saget wrote. Jody Sweeten, Scott Weinger, and Sony Nicole also shared words of consolation. And even the young twins, DeShiel and Fox Messet, sent big hugs and much love for your family and broken heart. In spite of her loss, we're sure Andrea will keep the good memories and continue to dote on her two children. Her daughter Felicity cheers her mom on, but her son Tate acts like he's embarrassed. He's mortified by anything I do on screen or off screen, but I will catch him in his room binge watching the show. It's about time we talk about the younger cast. Sony Nicole Bringus as Ramona Gibbler. According to IMDb, the 19-year-old actress is rumored to appear in the forthcoming movie, Path to Midnight, a thriller about a home invasion. However, little else is known about the project and her future plans. When she's not traveling, she's still close to her Fuller House family. After her co-star Michael Campion turned 19, she wished him a happy birthday, and their bond is as clear as daylight. I'll never forget the countless hours we spent in the schoolroom, either ready to kill each other or making the other die laughing. To this day, you still know how to crack me up. On that note,
Michael Campion as Jackson Fuller. It looks like this actor is just as fun as his character, and even enjoys trying his hand at magic every now and then. In terms of his latest projects that don't involve Fuller House, Campion played Theo in the TV series Red Ruby. Last year, the actor starred as a cancer survivor in a series called The Final Exam. As for the future, Michael is set to appear in the pilot of the forthcoming comedy series The Quick Minute. However, the series is still in development, so it's unclear when or if it will see the light of day. Other than that, it looks like he's a natural at modeling, if his social media is anything to go by. How about his on-screen siblings? Where are they now? Elias Harger as Max Fuller In real life, the 14-year-old actor has been building his career portfolio. Last year, Elias starred as the lead in the animated movie Felix and the Hidden Treasure. It's not clear yet what role Harger will take on next, and maybe he wants to focus on finishing school first. In the meantime, he enjoys poetry and recently promoted a reading session on his Instagram. In his post, he expressed his excitement about the opportunity. That's not his only talent. Elias also plays the guitar and shares his tunes with his social media fans. Let's look at the identical twins who play baby Tommy. Dashiell and Fox Messett as Tommy Fuller Jr. These kids are proof that talent has nothing to do with age. The six-year-old twins are chasing big dreams. Apart from appearing in Fuller House, they also co-starred in Grey's Anatomy and Danger Force episodes, and were spotted alongside John Cena in a hefty ad. Most recently, they can be seen in a new video released each week on their YouTube channel, and their following is massive. From these multi-talented actors to another star whose hidden talents might surprise you. Juan Pablo de Pache as Fernando Guerrero Juan Pablo's next role will be in the forthcoming biopic called Gardel, but most importantly, the 42-year-old actor has been honing his singing skills. Last year, he promoted his single and music video, Te Senti. As for his personal life, 2021 was also a year in which he reached a massive milestone. The actor came out to his nearest and dearest 20 years ago, but only went public in a viral TEDx talk that was released mid-last year. Juan Pablo says his Fuller House co-stars gave him so much support after coming out and were so happy for him. I'm very lucky to be part of a cast that really is like my second family. He's not the only one boasting about how close the whole cast is. Basically, all the cast's social media accounts are filled with photos of each other. For example, Cameron Bure revealed how she and her co-stars stay in touch, and it's via group chat. Everyone loves each other, so losing a beloved cast member so unexpectedly can't be easy. In memory of Bob Saget as Danny Tanner After the news of actor and comedian Bob's untimely passing at age 65 broke earlier this month, his co-stars all shared their shock and sadness. The main sentiment is that there wasn't a kinder person in Hollywood and that Saget will be dearly missed. Apart from playing Danny in Full House and later reprising his role in Fuller House, he famously served as the host of America's Funniest Home Videos. He also provided the narration for How I Met Your Mother. Before his passing, Saget had just started his I Don't Do Negative Comedy Tour in January. He performed in Florida the day before his death. His tour was set to include more performances all across the United States. Bob is survived by his wife and his three daughters. As Adam Hugenberg Bach wrote, Have fun telling jokes and giving bear hugs in heaven, Bob. Thanks for watching. Check out our other video that delves into Bob Saget's unexpected death. And don't forget to stay awesome.